The moral and ethical compass of every honest Jew's life is, of course, Pirkei Avos, the ethics of our fathers. Pirkei Avos, so fundamental, so yesodi to everybody's life. We have six prokim, but Perak number six also branded the appellation. Perak Kenyan Torah was a subsequent compilation of various different prices, but the original Perkei Avos consisted of five prokim of five chapters. Now the Gemara tells us in Brochas Taf Yud Beis Amun Aleph, Hako Holech Achar Achisim. Everything comes down to the Chasima. We know Achor and Achor Chav. If you look at the end, there's something big about the end. So if you are writing your Anshe Knesset Gedola and you're all the subsequent generations of our illustrious Tanoim and you're penning the adages, the credos by which an honest, erlich, beautiful Jew should live his or her life, then we know we're going to look at Perk Elvis. And when we turn to Perk Elvis, we know we got to fast forward. We got to go to the final departing message of those original five broken of Perk Elvis. And what's the final message? The last line, the departing phrase of the five original broken of Perk Elvis is none other than that statement from Ben Hey Hey. Keeping in mind, he's a Gary, he's a convert, we know. He's going to pack a mighty powerful punch, and you bet he does. What's the last line of all Perk Elvis? Those five broken, Lefum Sara Agra. And the Mephorosh from the commentaries explain it's written specifically in Aramaic because that was the sprach, that was the language. Every single human being, they knew it, they meant it, they understood. The Fum Tsar Agra in accordance with the pain, with the Tsar, the agony, the anguish, the struggle, the battle. That's the Agra, that's going to be the Tsar, explains the Medrash Shmuel. And I got to share this Medrash Shmuel with you today because what a powerful vart explains the Medrash Shmuel. And the idea is that this final phrase of the original compilation of Perkei Elvis doesn't just sum up all Perkei Elvis. It actually encapsulates and sums up all of life. No pain, no gain. You want to lose weight? You got to make sacrifices in life. You want to go to the gym and build muscle? Then you got to push yourself to the limits. You got to go beyond what feels comfortable. You have to leave that comfort zone. So a person's walking down the street and you want to know how much and every day. The whole Yom Yom Yitzhu Shalodim is Skabrolov explains Rabbi Yitzchak in the Gemara and Sukkah. Every day the Yitzhar is attacking. Yitzhar, let me go already. Hashem, what do you want from me? It's such a struggle. Shmir Sanayim, how am I going to do it? How am I going to vanquish that Yitzhar? How am I going to control those temptations? The answer is more of Rabbi Sayyid Lefum Tzara no pain, no gain. That's increasing your schar. Hashem says, you're right, and not everybody today is the Chavetz Chaim, is the Vilna Gon, is the Kebeger. But you know what? In Ruchrius, you could all become equally as great in the sense of what? We have our battles, our struggles in our own day and age. And every time you walk down that street and you're thinking, Lefum Tzara Agra, Kodesh it hurts. But I'm going to do it. And just know that's going to be the measure of your compensation. That's going to be the schar that you're all going to get. Lafum Sara Agra. Control those Anayim. And the amazing schar that awaits you is way beyond your wildest imagination.